Standing at a podium inside a white canopy at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery, novelist Emily Bated recalled a dinner with Eve Babbitts years ago that captured the late author's wry humor. Beta was celebrating a book deal for a 2021 thriller The Body Double at the Musso and Frank Grill, and Babbitt, a dear friend and longtime neighbor, was among her guests. Sitting at a table piled high with food, most of which Babbitt had ordered, Babbitt said to her, You know, Emily, your book is going to be a hit. It's going to be a bestseller. I was so touched, remembered Beta speaking to a small crowd of friends and family members who gathered Sunday at the famed Hollywood Cemetery to celebrate the life and idiosyncrasies of Babbitt, who captured and embodied the culture of Los Angeles. Babbitt died December 17 from complications of Huntington's disease. She was 70. But immediately before I could say anything, she said, and that's why you're going to be paying for dinner, continued Beta. And that was Eve. She was always willing to receive. During the two-hour ceremony, laughter smothered tears as attendees shared tales of growing up with Babbitt, of staying sober with her and falling in love with her. Collectively, their anecdotes underscored Babbitt's brilliance and kindness, her uniqueness and dry wit, and her unyielding fervor to live life by her own rules. She was someone, as Beta said, who gave to others as much as she loved to receive. As mourners entered the canopy before the memorial, they picked up a wallet size, black and white image of Babbitt's in black underwear, a fuzzy scarf spread across her shoulders. A passage from Babbitt's black swans was printed on the back, and beneath it, her favorite prayer, a tenet of many recovery programs, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Mirandi Babbitt's kicked off the memorial with stories of growing up in her sister's shadow. I grew up in Hollywood, California. Under the tyrannical reign of my big sister, she began. I was constantly rejected by her in the most unmistakable ways, like spraying fly spray in the mouth, but I had a gut aching love for her and that was that. She loved her even when everything she did well, Babbitt's found her repulsive, dull, and not up for snuff, she still adored her when Babbitt's would yell from her room, go away, move it borrowing a little Yiddish from their grandfather, and she found a way to forgive her after learning that when she w. She was performing a major key rendition of the fairy princess showing off a magnificent flaming one in a minor key harmonic urge to make me completely disappear at the same time. Babbitt's carried its spirit throughout her life, 